Many decisions made by the distiller impact the final flavor of a whiskey, but one of the most overlooked is the type of still used to produce it. Stills come in many shapes and sizes, but they all work on the same basic principle. Because alcohol has a lower boiling point than water, a still can be used to concentrate an alcohol solution. By heating an alcohol solution in the still, the alcohol turns to vapor more readily than the water. The vapor is then cooled and returned to liquid, resulting in a higher percentage of alcohol. There are two broad styles of stills used for making whiskey. The pot still is the oldest of the two, dating to the 8th century, and it remains in use for making whiskey today. Pot stills operate on a batch process, which means the distiller has to feed new liquid into the still with each use, then clean the still and start over for the next batch. It generally takes at least two passes through the still for liquid to achieve sufficient alcohol strength to become whiskey. Now what the pot still lacks in efficiency, it makes up for in flavor. In fact, pot stills are required for certain types of whiskey, like single malt scotch. The liquid comes off a pot still in a steady stream, and the distiller discards any unwanted portions, usually found at the beginning and the end of the spirit stream. By keeping just the heart of the liquid, the distiller achieves the desired flavor. The column still didn't arrive until the 1830s, and it's now widely used for American whiskey. This type of still is also called a continuous still because it can be fed continuously, making it highly efficient. Rather than condensing the liquid into a single stream of distilled spirit, the column still uses a series of vertically stacked internal plates, which condense the vapor within the still. By selecting which plate or plates to draw the liquid from, the distiller can very precisely select the strength and flavor of the distillate. Of course, excellent whiskey can be made using either type of still, and these stills can often be found operating in tandem, or even constructed into hybrid stills that include elements of both types. As you tour distilleries and learn more about their process, make a note of the type of stills they're using, and you will be able to perceive that influence in the final whiskey, because without stills, there is no whiskey.